guys, my name is Stephanie. I am 23 years old and I'm from Springville, New York. Um, Springville is a small kind of rural community and I've only lived here since I was about 11 years old. Um, before that, I lived in the town next to it called uh, North Collins, which is an even smaller town than ours. I think North Collins graduating class was like 48 kids where Springville's graduating class is 150 kids so uh, I remember when I was in high school we used to have things like uh, bring your tractor to school day we had dairy fest when I would get on the bus it usually smelled like cow manure and hay because a lot of the kids that I knew worked on farms or they lived on farms more specifically they were dairy farms so it was a running joke that um there were more cows than people in our in our town. Uh, a little bit about me is that I like to cook and I like to bake. Um, I've been doing a lot more bake or cooking. I've been doing a lot more cooking than baking. I'm more of a social baker. I feel like I only really have the motivation to bake when I know that lots of people are going to be eating it versus like my family. My family and I, we don't really like to eat a lot of sweets, although I really love sweets. I try my best to avoid them. Um, most notably, this closure I've been making, you know, ribs, pot roast, homemade pizza, chicken marcella, which is like an Italian dish. It has chicken, mushrooms, marcella wine, cream. It's really good. If you ever want the recipe, let me know. Um, I'm a DIYer and an amateur one at that. Um, my dad actually has bees. He's a beekeeper as a little hobby of his and his hobby works really well with my hobby because I'm able to take the wax from his bees and turn it into lotion, soap, chapstick, and anything else I can think of. Um, I also like to cut up shirts and turn them into better shirts. I like to tie-dye, I like to... Uh, Oh, I, I made this bench. It was really cool. I stained it and it looked really nice. I think that's something I get for my mom because she also likes to DIY. And another thing about me is I tried really hard to be a fashionable and trendy person this year. But due to the closure, I think that that's all off. Um, I don't really go anywhere and I don't really think it's important to be trendy and fashionable if I'm just staying home. So maybe next year. Um, a little bit about my family. So I have a relatively small family, but something really interesting about my family is that my paternal grandfather was adopted. So for those of you who don't know, my last name is Frazier, but that's an adopted last name. Um, my grandfather's biological family, they were the DeGregorios, which is really Italian. Um, so I am therefore Italian, German, English, really English, and a little bit of Irish. And somewhere on my maternal grandmother's side, there's Cherokee Indian. So I think I'm like 1 16th Cherokee. It's not really all that significant, but it's still pretty cool since it's rare. Um, another fun fact about me is that I'm the only person in my family to get a four-year degree and thus I'll be the only person in my family to get a master's uh, degree and hopefully a PhD but I haven't decided on that or not yet so when I went into my undergrad I did it at Fredonia University and I loved it there I dormed for four years I originally started out at Fredonia University being a English secondary education major and I quickly realized that I hated English and I really did not want to be an English teacher. And thus, I went to be a history teacher because history had always been my second favorite. And now I think it is easily my first favorite. I just felt that English was a little too abstract for me where I felt like history was a lot more straight to the point, if you will. Um, and I knew 
that I was always going to be a good teacher because everyone has always told me that I'm really patient and that I'm really good at explaining things and I was really good at making things creative or making like little little tricks to remember things or things that would like really help kids. So I did an internship at Faulkner University or Faulkner High School with a 11th and 12th grade class. Um, and during that time, I helped with Global 2, where I helped them learn about um, World War II. We talked about the Holocaust. We talked a little bit about World War I. We talked about the Russian Revolution, things like that. And I think that experience really solidified the fact that I wanted to teach because when I was teaching, it felt like everything just clicked. I felt like I was doing a lot of good. I would have kids ask me questions and it felt really good to be able to give them an answer and help them understand. Or we would talk about, you know, Voltaire and John Locke and stuff. And I was able to give them little like mnemonics and things to remember things by. And it really was rewarding to have them remember things because of what I taught them how to do. Um, when I was teaching, my cooperating teacher always told me that it was in some ways more important to build relationships with your students than to um, help kind of with the content. He's like, the content is really important, but kids aren't going to care about the content unless you they know that you care about them, especially the ones that find history to be really boring. So he always used to tell me to make sure you're building relationships with students because students can smell um, fakeness from a mile away. You always want to be really authentic with your students. And I feel like that is something that has always stuck with me. Um, when I went back to Fredonia University after that experience, I ended up doing an internship. And during that internship, I worked with the chair of the history department and he and I were really close. And we worked with like one other girl she was in the communications department and so we worked together on the living history day and living history day is um it's the civil war reenactment so it's really cool um american history had always been one of my favorites so it was really cool to bring american history to life for students in middle school which brings me to my artifact so my artifact is the t-shirt I wore on the day that we did it. it. Looks like this. It says Fredonia Living History Day on the front and then on the back it says volunteer. And during that time um, I was in charge of scheduling reenactors. I was in charge of scheduling refreshments, finding plots for all the reenactors. I was in charge of getting props for the reenactors, setting up signs, you know, scheduling schools, making sure that the buses or directed to the right lots, things like that. I helped with parking, I helped with, I did a lot. Um, and so what I really loved about that experience was I was able to talk to the reenactors and get like their experts, uh, their expertise on like different topics within that Civil War reenactment. So I would talk to like the, um, the guy that did the flag signals and he told me a lot about the flag signals and like he gave me paperwork and information on that. I was able to go and talk to the blacksmith people and they told me about weapons and they told me about how all that worked. I loved seeing the kids walk around and interact with the reenactors, um, especially with the Native Americans that came and they showed the kids um, Native American games that the kids used to play and so what was cool is you got to see kids that instead of reading it out of a textbook they were actually interacting and doing what they would have been reading about and I feel like when you give kids hands-on experiences the information tends to stick a lot better. Other than the hands-on part of it for the students what I loved about this experience that I had was that it gave me tools in order to bring Living History Day to my classroom in case my kids that I eventually teach don't get opportunities like this or in case opportunities like this aren't available for them. 
Um, so I felt like it was important for me, even as just a volunteer and an intern, to take as much information as I could and as many um, handouts and as many experiences as possible so that I could later use that for my own classroom. And I think that uh, information in itself was going to make me a better teacher. So now I, since I learned how to do um, the Native American activities, now I feel like I could always take those activities and bring them outside and have the kids do them. Or I can take um, some of the props that some of the reenactors gave me and I can use those in my teaching. So that was really cool. Um, so yeah, it was really nice to meet everybody. Hopefully in the fall, I'll get to see you guys in person, which would be a lot more preferable. But until then, take care, everyone be safe. And it was really nice to meet you all. Bye bye.